Good afternoon, Michael Pete at Mark Miller Subaru Southtown. I am helping out uh, one of our product specialists, Kevin Edwards, um, who I uh, helped respond to just because he's with another guest and we didn't have, uh, we didn't want you to wait on the information. So there she is, uh, 2023 Solterra. Um, you kind of get the right guy on this. I'm one of the sales managers and actually own this exact car uh, in a slightly different color. But I'm a big fan, big fan of EVs, big fan of this car specifically. Um, obviously, we know there's a lot of EVs to choose from, but um, what we found uh, in a lot of research and a lot of customer comments is that you're actually getting a Subaru that's electric rather than just an electric car. So very capable car off the road, over eight inches of ground clearance, legendary Subaru all-wheel drive. Obviously, there is a, uh, there's a partnership with Toyota. They've been a partner of ours for a very, very long time. And to be honest, when, with battery technology, it's probably who I would choose if I could uh, choose anyone. Um, they've been doing the EV thing and the hybrid thing quite a long time. But kind of give you a brief overview of this car, um, some of the, some of the um, features that are included in the Touring, which is what I sent over to you, which is what you requested. Uh, when it comes to leasing, huge fan. I only lease my cars. Uh, I did send you over the 10 and the 12K. The 12K is what you asked for. Um, but exceptional time. You're, like I said, 2% I think interest on this car. So the, the rebating from the government and the pricing and the residual and money factors all works out to be a pretty damn good lease for a $50,000 car. So like I said, we'll hit the highlights. So there are your 20 inch wheels, which are standard on touring, as is the panel roof. So it's a glass roof. I'll get inside and show you. It does not open. Um, so it's merely to let light in and it is tinted. So it's actually quite comfortable. You'll see these little bars. Like I mentioned this is just a Subaru that happens to be electric. You can buy crossbars for your ski racks, bike racks, etc. to go right up on the roof. These little doors open and your crossbars are installed. Window sticker, which I sent you down to the back here. I happen to think it's actually a very beautiful car myself. You will see the accessories mount there. That's where you're going to, um, install your uh your bike rack if you choose to carry things on the back kayak rack a number of different options there but this car already has it installed obviously power rear gate you'll see a couple accessories in there as well which are on the invoice i sent you this is your level one charging cord comes standard obviously harman carbon harman carbon subwoofer there's your carpeted mats i'm gonna put the seats down so you can see the amount of space this car actually has along with taking out the cargo cover. Back up a little bit here. You have almost a five and a half, call it six foot bed in the back, and it's actually quite flat. You have a little bit of a rise, but nothing crazy, which is kind of a Subaru thing as it is. Make our way over to those back seats that we talked about. This is the black perforated leather interior. As we get in, you can see there, obviously your rear venting. It's kind of important for a lot of people, including my family with dogs. USB-C chargers and heated seats in the rear. That's exclusive to the Touring model as well. Very comfortable back seat. Obviously you have your cup holders, storage for phones. I am only 5'10", so not the greatest representative, but very, very comfortable. You will notice your feet are a little bit higher because the battery's under the floor which is pretty common. There's your pano roof and really, really cool interior, which I'll get into here in a second. This has all of your luxury slash safety items as standard. So your eyesight, if you will, um, your lane centering devices, that's all standard operating through a couple of cameras. There's one of them, sensors all the way around, as you can see, entire car. Which I quite like. See if you're getting close to a pole, trying to pull into a tight spot. Speaking of parking, this car does self-park, which is really cool. Love to have you uh, come down. We'll do that for you. But let me hop in the front seat. Here's your charging port. Had a question from a product specialist um, about level three fast charging. So there's your level two slash one port, and then there is your level three. Uh, Subaru has signed up with Tesla, so you will have access to those stations anytime now. Uh, there is a, um, what am I trying to say, an adapter that you would have to purchase, but there is also lots of non-Tesla stations or, to charge. I just wanted to let you know. I personally charge mine at home. Subaru allows you some benefits there. They'll pay up to $400 in labor and or charging credits through one of the national charging 
stations that you can have that's part of owning this car. I am gonna shut the door and open the window so one of my associates can see here. Fire it up for you. And obviously no engine here, right? So we're, we are started. Hopefully this will focus. There we are. 91%. And this car is rated at 220 plus on the range. Uh, there's a large range conversation I love to have with, with customers. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there. We'll say it that way. Awesome, beautiful screen. This is provided by Toyota, which uh, in this case is a great thing. So they're using this in the new Prius as well as the new Tundra. Heated seats. He did windshield, he did side mirrors, he did steering wheel, and cooled seats. All can operate on an automatic, which I absolutely love, type system to save power. That's always what we're looking for there. So something we can explain in person, obviously, uh, driver and passenger climate control. You do have a cloud-based navigation system that you can use here. Uh, you do get a free um, trial of that. Of course, my personal uh, preference, I'm a, a big Apple guy, so there is Apple Auto, uh, and sorry, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay hooks right up to this. It's all wireless. It's all seamless. Along with that, you do have wireless charging here. And then lots of little spaces underneath. There's another USB-C charger, another 12 volt. Spaces just kind of all around here. You'll look up, you do have your smart mirror. It's because it's a couple things. There's a live feed right out the back. You also have your ability uh, or home link to um, program in three separate garage doors, as well as obviously tinting if someone gives you the bright lights, but do you have a shade that covers your panel roof if you wish, which we can close just like that. There you are. So yeah, awesome car. Love to have you come in and take a drive, go over things like regenerative braking. Um, like I said, this is a true all wheel drive. Um, crossover SUV so it does have things like X mode it is very off-road capable um, has a crawling a crawl mode and in, in fact this is a self parking button this is actually your camera system has a really cool bird's eye 3d camera system um, and then some traction control stuff but very capable car a lot of fun like I said I own one myself we do have chargers here at the store we do have a lot of information we can provide you if it's your first EV uh, my preference is to have a charger at your home or your place of work. And if you don't drive an insane amount of mileage, you won't even know the difference, to be very honest. So, love to have you come in, Michael. Love to take a drive. I do have two left. Uh, this Touring. I also have a Premium, uh, if budget is a, is a huge concern. And I have the avail availability to track down a couple more. Because you are going to have some lag time between the 23 and the 24s coming out. Not to mention a massive savings uh, right now where the, uh, the interest rates and your all of your uh, promotional pricing is extremely good but uh, feel free to respond to this video like i said sent you all the information via email i'd uh, love to speak with you if you have any questions at all feel free to email or text or call back uh, other than that have a great night and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks michael